A quick video of my collection of high standard G380s. I see there's only one other video about these. Uh, I uh, found that other video gave uh, some pretty good information on the background. I'll tell you how I acquired mine. I, is, uh, I uh, had bought a few high standard 22s on online auctions, came across one of these and found it to be pretty fascinating in researching the story. So I purchased uh, the first one which is in the 2200 serial number and uh, researching the values and sales. I think I bought it right. Uh, and the next two I acquired just by doing my internet searches uh, on auctions and found uh, where there was an error by the auction site or the seller uh, where they had a misspell or forgot to mention uh, the model in the description, so people were missing that on their searches if someone else was hunting for a G380. So I obtained this one, which is in the 6700 series serial number uh, at a online auction where they didn't put the model number and apparently had no idea what it was. I didn't steal it by any means, but I bought it for uh, mid 400s and I bought this one for about 450 and uh, that was just in the past two three years uh, from the date of this posting uh, this one they had a little bit of a steep uh, buyer's premium and then the uh, crooked gun shop insisted that they had to do a gun transfer instead of just mailing it to my FFL and charged me uh, stupid money for shipping and stupid money for the transfer. I despise FFLs that uh, try and make all their payments off a single, uh, single gun transfers. My friend does it for about 10 bucks a piece to anyone who wishes to do it. Additionally, uh, they seem to charge a lot with their so-called handling fees. So auction houses and gun dealers combined uh, are a sticking point with me on buyer premiums affecting prices. If I was a seller commissioning, my guns to be sold. I uh, wouldn't be too happy that they were getting vigorish on the seller end, which was affecting my price. Of course, you would be selling, giving them a premium for handling. This last one I bought on Gun Broker. The fella sold it. Very nice man. It is in the 300 serial number series. Uh, according to some sources, the serial number on the high standard G380s starts at 100. Uh, as with anything, there's always exceptions to the rule. Uh, he forgot to put the caliber in the description, or I'm sorry, in the title, but did mention as an afterthought or an update on the description that it was a 380. I recognized it for what it was, and a few people bid on it, but uh, I got this for uh, under 500 as well. I probably giving something away here, but I predict these will be thousand dollar guns before the end of this decade. I enjoy shooting them. They're very sturdy. I was fortunate before the big ammunition uh, shortages to be at a gun show and they had a sale on boxes of 500 or I'm sorry, 200 count, 380s. Uh, so I bought one box and returned to the gun show the next day and bought the other. Uh, but these are my G380s. I don't think there's a need for me to go out and shoot any. And uh, 
I hope you enjoyed it and uh, got a little bit of information on the value of these. I'm seeing on some of the auctions now these are going for uh, anywhere from $550 on up. If they have U.S. government markings like you see at Rock Island, occasionally one will come through there. They're going for uh, nearly a thousand and then you add Rock Island's stupid premium. Uh, I never buy from there. But uh, that's what I've found. Uh, what I've learned with these 380s that once I bought one, I kind of uh, learned a little bit about them and was able to score a couple of others uh, based on uh, lack of knowledge and uh, not doing a good job on their description, which gave me an advantage on uh, people that might have been searching for these. So uh, I have three of them where a lot of people have been trying to uh, get just one. They are available. You're just going to have to be willing to uh, compete and pay the rate that they're going. But I'm confident in a few years these will be up 30% in value. Uh, if you can find another investment to go up 30% in a few years, then by all means, uh, get that. But here are my G380s. And uh, every one of them is in pretty nice shape. Magazines work fine. They feed fine uh, when I shoot them. And uh, they're pretty heavy, so walking around in the woods with one in a holster is just uh, would not be my idea of a fun thing. But hope you enjoyed learning a little more. Uh, as you see, this is, I think, the second YouTube video on uh, the G380. If you can get one, you won't regret it.